Welcome back to another puppet combo game. Today we are playing Rewind or Die, where we are working at a VHS store. But don't worry, since this is a puppet combo game, of course there is a crazy serial killer out to get us. You know what? Let's get an interview on this guy, shall we? Sir, sir, would you like to have a word? A word for the uh, the video? Uh, actually, I'm not really a serial killer, but I'm just really like. All right, I have no idea what this guy is talking about, but he's yapping a lot and he's killing my retention time. So anyway, we're gonna be talking about the platinum trophy. That's what you guys are here for. There's actually 25.9% of people who platinum this game. Yes, the trophy is called What a Night, and there are about 18 trophies in total that we have to get. AKA, we just gotta get 17, 18 included with the platinum trophy. And yeah, that's all we really have to do. This game's actually really easy to platinum and really a good time. But we're gonna be jumping into the story where we have passive trophies. You guys don't know what passive trophies are? I refer to passive passive trophies as trophies that you would not miss at all if you just play the game aka we beat the chapters so we start off our game we got called into work so now we have to head to our nine to five this is where we can get an easily missable trophy we get the first ever trophy that we actually can get our passive trophy called just a day it's literally just for leaving our house yeah, I wish we got a trophy in real life for just leaving the house. But there's a missable trophy where we have to actually pet this dog in this alleyway. Yes, just petting this dog in this alleyway it earns us a trophy. And that's pretty dope because this dog later on gives us another trophy for rescuing him. And man, he is the goodest boy. But we also get jump scared in the process of petting a dog. I'm ready to get jump scared. Oh, just an average day in the UK. <laughs> just an average day in the UK. What the fuck? He's just browsing. The hell is he browsing? <gasps> He's browsing the game that we're playing. He's browsing the game that we're playing. That's oh, that's crazy. Can I see the cup? I'm like, <laughs> I'm so fucking stupid. I'm just, <laughs> I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I literally went like this to go see. Where the hell is the break room at? Oh, yo, this is the um. Yeah, it's one of those. Uh, you know what? I'm like, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. We can't look at that. We can't look at that. So I really need to screw this thing back in. Okay. Oh, we're getting out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. HS store. Just saying. Is that a dead rat? Now that we clocked in for our 9 to 5, there's actually a trophy you can miss for interacting with a customer. If you don't interact with him at all, you can miss this trophy called Movie Buff, where you have to listen to all his fun facts, and we end up doing that. Yeah, fuck that. I'm going home. All right, so just... What? Yo, he just stole the movie! I didn't even listen to his fact, I just had to... Dip... Yo, where you going, dude? Where the fuck did he go? Why, why is he slinking away like that? I, okay, I didn't think it was something good. <laughs> Everybody go... What the hell, Tony? Jesus! Can't run on take a dump in peace. Man, I can't believe I got jump scared by a guy taking a crap. Anyway, this is the next character we're going to be playing as. They're actually looking into the missing cases that are going on around the area, specifically around their VHS store. Um, nobody knows why or what's going on, but this guy ends up giving us a passive trophy for completing the next chapter, chapter one, getting into chapter two. The reporter ends up dying or getting kidnapped. I'm unsure about that one. I told you he was going to die. News just in. We got to play as him for five seconds. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. I'm actually getting another trophy that's uh, beating this arcade machine. Yes, this arcade machine is pretty much just Flappy Bird, and everybody remembers, if you guys are as old as me, how annoying Flappy Bird is. The trophy is called Arcade Master, where we had to beat the high score, which is getting 17 points. Oh, Keith! Oh! Oh my god, Keith, you let out Matt! Bro, you didn't even flush! Let's get a bite of this. Just to let you guys know, I spent so much time trying to get this trophy. For some reason, I'm really bad at Flappy Bird. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Come on, we gotta get this. We gotta be, we gotta be ass. The two Z's. No! Ah, oh, they always mess you up with the, the thing. Oh my god, if I hear that. Okay. Fucking god damn it, it always fucks me up. How am I supposed to? That's like, no way. Oh, 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 10, 13, 14. 
You piece of shit! Ah! Dick's tone and ass! Don't fuck me. I got 16. I I got the high score. I gotta beat 16 though, I think. I'm all, Oh! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! Come on, I just slammed my hand on the desk. Come on, we got this. Come on, please! 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 Oh, I hear that laugh one more time. I hear it in my fucking nightmares. What the fuck was that? This little time lapse over here is probably about like a half hour time lapse. Yes, I've been working on this trophy here for a half hour to 45 minutes. Isn't that ridiculous? 15, 16, I need this one more. Yes, I beat the high sword. Yes, Arcade Master. Arcade Master. Beat the top. What the fuck? Fuck it. After getting the high score, you actually get this hidden room right here, which is really neat and really cool. There's really nothing about it, though, besides maybe a little bit of lore. And I um, believe um, this is where the funders or people who help back the game actually get their little, like, special promotion. And, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of goofy. Another missing... <laughs> Look at that guy's face. He looks like me. He looks like me! He looks like me! <laughs> he looks like me! Wait, 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 wait. What? That's a fucking time traveler! This is 1997! My man got an iPhone! I, uh, didn't do anything. Hello. Oh, you'll be fine. I'm meeting Michelle tonight. I really need to go and get ready. Michelle? I thought she wasn't well. She found things sick. She isn't. But she's about to get a whole lot better. <laughs> it, what the fuck is it on the back of his shirt? Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's on the Where did he go? What? Dave just disappeared! Alright, now it's closing time, but we get a trophy, which is an easily missable trophy called Don't Give Up On Your Day Job. Pretty much you have to interact with a local homeless, aka this guy named Captain. He actually makes a joke, and um, well, you know what? I'll just let you guys see it for yourself. Surprised we didn't get jump scared here. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yo, Captain, yo, can I borrow some boards? What'd you call them, i shins. So, um, I did not know there's actually a trophy you get for, um, absolutely decimating that man. Did not know that at all. It's called Man Down. You get it for accidentally killing Captain, but that's in the latest chapter, so let's go back in time. I should deal with the guy at the window first. What guy at the window? What the fuck? Um, you want to deal with this dude at the window? I'd be like this. I would be like this. This is what I'd be like. I'd be like, I'd be like, ain't nobody in here, bro. Mm mm. Name me. I'm not in here. Hello. Hello. I'd be like, did he go away yet? Because the story's locked. I'd be like, did he go away yet? I'd be like this. I'd be like this. I'd be. I'd be like this. Did he go away yet? Did he go away yet? Like I would peek over the door. I'd be like, hmm. Let's see if he went away. Sorry, we're closed. Yeah, we're closed, man. We're closed. You're gonna need to come back tomorrow. Are you dead? Fuck off. Okay, man. We close. We go open in the morning. All right. See, I'll be. I'll be in too. So I'll see you then. Okay. Oh Jesus Christ! No, 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 no! Ow! 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 Yo, bro, somebody just broke into the fucking store! That's Captain! Right, Heard a smash? No, it's fine, Cap. Don't worry about it. Somebody just broke in! What do you mean? I'm gonna go in there and die. They break the window? Oh, for Christ's sake. Who does something like this? Some. He's not, he's not answering it. Mm. Hello? Keith. It's Tony. Something's happened. I thought I told you to only call me if it's an emergency. Well, if you'd listen... Someone smashed the shop window with a cinder block. What the hell? How'd you let that happen? Oh, I just rented him the brick and let him have the way. <laughs> I would have said it. I love All this right. guy! I'm on down. Look, in the meantime, try to find something to board it up. The last thing we need is someone taking our stock. I don't know how much Tony's getting paid, aka our main protagonist, but he does one of the most sensible things once he gets a weird, mysterious phone call, and honestly, I can't really blame him. 
Keith? Keith, I thought you were... We going to have fun tonight. That's only allowed in the adult section. I'll see you soon. Screw waiting for Keith, I'm getting out to be a... Right yeah, good guy. move, good move. No, not Captain, no! Whip out, grab your bag and dip. Just go, just go, just go, just go, just go. Who cares about the Oh my god, that fucking gumball machine. Should've Ow. The main door. It's not safe. The vents. I can hide in the vents. Come on. Come on. There you go, there you go. In the vents, dude, like, fucking, I was gonna book it. Well, he was like, it's not safe. What do you mean? There's actually two passive trophies that you get in this running segment. One for escaping the killer, and another one for completing the chapter. I'll let you find out which one is which, because I got a tip from this dude. He's on my ass. Gotta beat me, the lights out of me. Oh my god, I think I just died. Oh no. Yeah, get out of here, nerd. You're just booking ass. Slaw, we don't, I don't want to play with you, man. I just want to work my 9 to 5. You gonna be behind us? Go! Go, 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 go! The music so far is gonna get me killed! I gotta hold my controller like this! Okay, okay! Go! Run away, run away, run away! Oh my god! I'm about to get banged in the yay! Oh! Held off by the fire music. <laughs> Is he gonna kill us? Okay, he knocked us out. We're getting kidnapped! Up, brother! Into the fire. Complete chapter two. They got me locked up, they won't let me out. There's actually a trophy we get here, it's called As Cold As Ice. It's, all you have to do is just bleed, beat the chapter. There's no other trophies here, it's another passive trophy. Cannot miss it whatsoever. To do a little summarization, there's actually, um, I don't know, there's really nothing to talk about. There's just a bunch of puzzles we do, and then we end up getting into this little cooler room, um, or deep freezer room, I don't know what the hell it's called, and we get trapped in it. Serious luck. I want to save the dog, too. Ah, crowbar! Okay. Oh god, I don't want to go out there. Ah, oh, fuck me. Um... Shit! 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 Okay. Oh, we got. Oh, we're playing Simon Says. Okay. Oh, I, I instant did it. I fucking instant did it. That was that was easy. That was the easiest. Thing. I accidentally guessed it. What the hell? Why did all four come undone? Why did it? Okay. Why did everything become undone? Why? What the hell happened? We did that. We did that on our first try, though. That was actually amazing. It's cold as ice. Complete chapter three. All right, we are on the fourth chapter. For the fourth chapter, there's only one trophy in this part, and you cannot miss it at all. It is. It smells funny in there. All you have to do is complete the chapter. Um, and for the chapter to summarize it, you pretty much are in the sewer section. You have to do these levers and a bunch of more puzzles, all while you get chased by the killer. It's way more exciting than the last chapter. Although there really isn't much to talk about for this chapter, it did give us a lot of fun moments, which I'm showing you guys now. I hear walking. Is he gonna be behind us? I'm dead. You don't see me. Ah, oh, you pussy! Get out of my way! What the fuck? What? That was instant death. Go, go. He's on me already? What the hell? What? Okay, there's a fucking box maze. Go. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Down, 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 down. Oh shit, he's right, he's right on my ass! He's right on my ass! Fuck, go, go, go! You stupid cocksucker, go! Whoa! Yo, my camera trying to do some sus shit to me. You saw that? What the fuck? My camera, like, the dude, he panned over. My camera was like, all right, you're gonna look at his meet me. Yes. Here you go. We got the key card. Boom. Gas main shutoff valve. Ooh. Okay, now we have to go back. Please tell me that I... God damn it. We did it. We did it. Yay. It smells funny in here. We completed chapter four. All right. 
All right, we are on the last and final chapter where there's actually so much stuff to have in this chapter. One, there are two bosses we can defeat in this chapter. One is obviously the one that's been trying to kill us, and another hidden one, which we'll talk about later. But there's another trophy that we want to get, and that's for saving Captain. Yes, we ended up murdering Captain, but now we will save him. And there's even another one for saving everybody that we possibly can in Slaw's little death trap. And man, I ain't gonna lie, this is probably the best chapter of the whole game. There you go. There you go, my boy, Cap. I got you, my boy. What are you doing? Let's go there. Oh look, there's another key. Oh look, use a crowbar. You got the locker key. Okay, cool. What about this one? Okay, we got the locker key to get the gun. No man left behind, save Cap. We save Cap from the incinerator. Remember like five seconds ago, I said there was a trophy for um, end up killing one of the bosses? Well, that one is called Disgusting Swine. All we have to do is find a note to get into a safe area where we get a gun and we can defend ourselves. Hell yeah. Anyway, the new code will be 9573. Don't give it, okay. So it's upstairs. Got a circuit breaker, got a gun. Got a bunch of ammo. Hell yeah, dude, we got the handgun to, to join it. Let's shoot the pig. There you go. Okay. I know only where two are at. He locked us in? Oh, yeah. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fuck it. Oh, my God. He booked it at us. He booked it at us. Oh, shit. All right. We're going to get it a little bit of distance. We're going to turn around and shoot. Bitch. Bitch. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Crap. Oh crap, oh crap, shot his ass dead, dead ass motherfucker, give him the, I don't know, I can't rap, but it's just fire, he disappeared? For this boss section, it actually was so damn easy. It was so easy. All I did was hit it in the corner and wait for him to come to me because he has a melee weapon and I ended up just using my superior firepower. Go! Go! Hit my man, all them headshots! Okay. Oh, easy boss. Watch this. Turn around again. Fuck, I didn't reload. I didn't reload. I didn't even know there was a reload animation in this game. Okay, my man ain't eating all these shots. Like, mm, this is going sweet. Damn. Get trashed. Just got shit on. Kill his ass. Bitch. Take that. That's for, that's for the dog, you piece of shit. I think I have a limit ammo. Alright, if this guy lives somehow, like, I look how many shot. Alright, wait, wait. You know what? Just for good measure. Get his other head. Get his other head for good measure. We now have three trophies we need to get. It was you all along, which is a hidden boss. No man left behind, which we have to save a dog. And rewind or die, which all we have to do is beat the game. So in order for us to defeat the boss, is actually we have to shoot all these pigs, which will unlock a new area where we find these skulls. It will explode, and then we'll end up finding a secret area where we get to fight the boss. We also get an item for rescuing the dog. Whoa, what? What the hell? Is this Satan? We're summoning Cthulhu! <laughs> what the fuck? My pig! He throwing skulls at me! Yo! Whoa, hold on! Yo, damn! Get behind us. We go, we go. Get, just get behind us. We'll get behind one of these pillars. Yeah. Just keep on loading on them. Keep on loading on him, boy. Aha, he can't damage me here, but I can damage him. Aha, cheese! He's getting cheese! Oh shit, no, he's not. Whoa, 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 whoa. There you go. Boom. It was you all along, you bastard. The mascot to the VHS store. We got him. I got you, boy. I got you. We petted you in the beginning. We're gonna save you in the end. My boy! He has no eyes. There you go, now he has eyes. He just went through us. Let's go, the goodest boy, we saved him. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like me. Come on. Let's get
saw the blood of the guy's body at the back of the shop. We called you guys. The last time. I don't know where Tony is. Keith was behind it all along? No! We well, never got that, by the way, if they didn't do that little, like... Some of you guys may be wondering why the Platinum Trophy didn't proc. No, it's not due to me editing and forgetting it. It's due to the fact that we actually missed a trophy called Movie Buff, where we have to listen to this guy's bullshit facts. Sir, are you hey gonna buy there. a fucking movie? Like, what's going on? Sir, I don't, I don't need thing? to hear... I don't get paid enough for your yapping. Please, you know go on. Stop Z. talking. I want you out of the store. This, this is ridiculous. You've been here for 48 hours. I need you Shop to leave. Mask. You need to leave the store. You've been over here for two days. You know I saw you hiding behind a dumpster to sleep. Leave, please. Just leave. I'm getting sick of it. I don't get paid enough for this. I get paid minimum wage in 1999. Yes, in 1999, the minimum wage was completely bullshit. And I'm not giving everybody here a fact. I'm just telling you how it is. I need you to leave. I do not care about your movie facts. I work at a VHS store. It says that shit on the box. You know, Please leave story of before I start crying. I'm about to have a meltdown. Buzz. I'm going to lose my job you because of you, sir. Please leave. I am so done and fed up with your minutes. bullshit. That just, so just go happens home. To be how the just boat lasted go home. On the voyage. Just go home. I am done. Fuck you, you. Know fuck RBL this place, I'm quitting. I'm done with this, I'm done with you, you're a weirdo, you come in here all the time, you go to the radio A section to look up, you know what, you're looking up that anime stuff. Get out of here, I'm done with you! What? What? Yo, why did you know it to rain to a platinum trophy? What the fuck? All right, that's it. That is rewind or die. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I have more coming at you. Obviously, my um my editing style is getting way better because I discovered what a green screen was. Uh, hopefully, I won't overuse it. But until next time, this is your boy signing off. Bye.